and we are back for week three. Now last week didn't go so well for Matt Hardy. You learned firsthand that just because you are the cruiserweight champion of the world, which albeit is a huge accomplishment, you cannot just step to anyone as he found out firsthand from the beast incarnate himself, Brock Lesnar. Now you mess with the bull, in this case the beast, you get the horns. In this case, the ass whooping. Yeah, that wasn't pretty. Um, nobody to talk to you backstage this week, but I've played this game enough times to know that if you go in the GM room and come back out, sometimes someone will reappear to talk to you backstage. So we'll just check our SP real quick, and of course, yes, we are still at 70, right where we started. So we're running our tires a little bit. Gotta be careful, you know? Gotta pick and choose our battles, so... And Stephanie McMahon is in the corridor, so I guess she's the only one we're going to talk to this week. But she's better than nothing. Let's see what we get out of her. Matt, what do you... Ooh, that's a hostile way to start the convo. Cold getting ignored for the cell phone. Yikes. That is a hard yikes. This isn't a good time to talk. Oof. Ooh, I'm nothing, she said. Oof. Look, this is important. I have to talk to you. I'm the cruiserweight champion, goddammit. Ooh, still nothing. You have no idea what's important. You think you're more important than this phone call? Get out now. You pissed her off, SP-1. Alright, so we're in the 60s. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, cruiserweight championship match against Eddie Guerrero, who just last week, I think, lost his U.S. championship to Chris Benoit. If I'm not mistaken. Ooh, Sean O'Hare. There's a throwback there. He had such promise. And Eddie Guerrero, man. We're just seeing some ghosts of WWE past right now. You know, I've been recently going back and watching some uh, 2005 Eddie Guerrero stuff after WrestleMania 21. Some of his heel stuff with Rey Mysterio. And it's a shame he passed when he did because honestly I think he was doing the best work in his entire career. He was such a good heel. He was such a good badass heel. I should say that because he had worked heel prior to that 2005 run. But man, when he turned on Ray around Judgment Day, that was, I think that was peak Eddie. I really do. And the, he changed up the whole entrance and he started wearing suits to the ring. He was carrying Ray's mask with him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Eddie Guerrero was truly messed, man. One of the greats. Gone too soon. It's going to be a shame to have to do this to him, but hey, I got to make up for my backstage shenanigans by putting on a show out here and defending this Cruiserweight Championship. The one comes down to the ring with that gold. And I don't want to be no Sasha Banks here. I want to be able to defend my championship, so let's, uh... To pull out all the stops, I will use weapons if I have to. Take advantage of that no DQ rule. For every championship match in this game is a no DQ match. Which could work for me or against me. We'll see. Stealing your opponent's finishing move. I'm going to have to whip out a frog splash here. You never know. You never know with Matt Hardy. Ring of the bell here, and I'm not going to rush in. I'm going to let him make the first move, and... We're off to the races here. I like using my strikes. As you see those vacant announce tables with no announcers. We had a cut back on budget costs here. and We had to fire our announcers on SmackDown. Don't worry about it. Times are tough in 2003. Little did they know times were about to get a lot tougher. That tornado DDT. One of the great SmackDown moves, man. That's a staple in the SmackDown series. DDT from the coin. Matt's really got that spinning, rolling heel kick working. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a name for that move. I'm gonna find a good name. Unless you guys like me calling it the spinning, rolling heel kick. Nice Samoan drop there by Hardy. The Mattitude has arrived. <laughs> now I know Matt Hardy's on this game. Here comes the thing. He's on Shut Your Mouth. He's on SmackDown vs. Raw. I don't think he's on 06. I think he comes back in 07. So, we've, we've seen a lot of Matt Hardys over the years. There's that little bridge pin. <laughs> no chance you're going to get somebody early. You got to do some damage in this game. No surprise pins. 
So the name of the game, Matt Hardy used to work the head and work the torso. You know that by now. Hey, Guerrero's not going to be an easy opponent to beat, but I think we're off to a pretty good start. It's a reversal fest here. Looking like 2K out there. And now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. See, this game really came back to me fast. I was worried that it was going to take a while to adjust, but, you know, halfway through that first Rey Mysterio match week one, I was like, yeah, I'm back. It's like riding a bike, for sure. Maybe I've just played this game so much that it's permanently ingrained in my memory. It's just muscle memory at this point, you know? Good counter by Eddie. Got his head on yellow damage there, so we're making good progress. And every time you get a finisher and you get the next momentum bar, it always goes a little bit faster than the previous one. So, getting the match started is the hard part. Okay, Eddie, no, I'm sorry. This hurts me to do this to you. Do you think this makes me happy? I used to be so good at this submission game. I used to be able to tap people out like I'm yellow. I swear, used to be able to do it. You don't believe me? Well, there's no way I can prove it to you. There was no internet back then. Well, if there was internet, for Christ's sake, I'm not that old, but... I didn't know how to use it. There was no YouTube. That's crazy to think about. There was no YouTube when this game came out. That is insane. You think about YouTube being around forever, but... Nope. Not back then. Not in 03. Okay, I got a finisher, but I'm kind of waiting to use it until I get him on orange damage, because that's... That's usually when you can get a, a pinfall. Yellow damage is still kick out territory. Eddie in that exposed turnbuckle, man. Told you I'm pulling out all the stops as I get some yellow damage there. Oof. Hmm. Working him over there in that corner. Stomping a mud hole and kneeing him in the face. Off the top rope, you know I gotta drop that leg. Mmm. It never lands cleanly, does it? It's never a flush landing, but it hits nonetheless, so should still be doing damage, right? In theory, in theory. Okay, that taunt really got some good momentum. Oof. And the twist of fate. Mmm. Will that be enough? Will that be enough to put away Latino Heat? And it is! Wow, we got the pinfall over Eddie. He's having a bad couple weeks. Taunt attack, respect. Ugh. I gotta make a name for myself, Eddie. I gotta make a statement. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to attack him, no! I'm sorry, Eddie. But I am a heel. I am having some bad weeks. I need to reassert my dominance. I need to let people know that Matt Hardy is here. He's not a joke. Eddie writhing in pain from that twist of fate. And now he's about to get something a little worse. Let's see. Oh, I got the chair. No, not the chair. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, Eddie. Oh, Eddie. He was playing possum. No. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Matt Hardy cannot catch a break, folks. At this rate, we're going to be out of the company. We won't make it to WrestleMania. Oh, who did Rico piss off to get this handicap match? Are you seeing this? Big Show and A-Train versus Rico? Holy cow. Rico I, You think I pissed off Stephanie backstage? Rico must have pissed her off. And a classic SmackDown six-man tag at the bottom there. One side seems a little heavily stacked compared to the other. And, of course, that side wins. Yikes, so I got a plus one for winning the match, but a minus one for pissing off Stephanie, and we're still at 70, so week four, and we're still right where we started. I, I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying here. We're going to have to be a little more respectable backstage. I'll catch you guys.